Okay, next up is the uh, the inestimable Carol uh, Carol Meyer of Crossref, uh, who seems to have taken on having scanned the presentation the somewhat unenviable task of uh, explaining to us how cool and sexy uh, metadata is. Um, just chatting with her before uh, before we came in, Carol told me that just recently she achieved her very best time in a 5K race, which is pretty cool because that's a long way, and I know I can run that far. But then she qualified it by saying that it was the first time she'd run that race. <laughs> it took me substantially longer than it's going to take me to go through this uh, slide. So um, I'm going to convince you that metadata is the key to stewardship and um, it's sexy and fun and loving and I have five minutes and according to Bert Krenka, anything is interesting for five minutes, which is good because this is about metadata. Crossref is about metadata and we bring metadata together to serve the whole scholarly communications community, publishers, researchers, libraries, authors, now funding agencies, institutions, discovery services, and repositories. That may seem grandiose, but I think you'll find that simple metadata is actually true. So we think that metadata is a love note to the future. It means things are going to be persistent and, and available, and our metadata isn't just bibliographic anymore. We have publication record data, author, funder, references, licensing, abstracts, peer review, etc. Uh, our newest project is a metadata project about text and data mining. And it's, it's simply, it allows researchers and publishers to eliminate the friction so that they can do text and data mining and go to the appropriate URLs. We're also incorporating other licensing data like the NISO open access indicator so that uh, readers will be able to tell whether something is free to read and um, the, it will also include the dates that those things are free to read to uh, encompass em embargoes. Fundref is simply metadata about funding agencies. We use a taxonomy, which I think is now up to about 6,600 funding agencies and it's three pieces of metadata, the funding agency, the ID, and the grant number. We've uh, created a tool to allow people to search the existing metadata in Fondref, uh, which I think is up to about 60,000 records. Um, and in this example, I'm searching for NIH. I can search for an abbreviation or the full name and I'll get the results that are deposited in Crossref for that funding agency. But of course, we're not just about human beings. Crossref has APIs, application programming interfaces, so that machines and other tools can integrate our metadata into things that they are doing that may or may not be something that we have ever envisioned using that metadata for. Crossref is in the neutral corner. Uh, both Share and Chorus are planning to use um, a number of our pieces of metadata, including Fundref, but also including um, the, uh, open, the, the uh, text and data mining data. Uh, we've been a supporter of ORCID, the Open Researcher Contributor ID, from the very beginning. And I hope that in the next two minutes you'll all sign up for an ORCID if you don't already have one. Um, Authors can use Crossref metadata search in order to populate their ORCID records with their publications. They just sign into the Crossref metadata search page with their um, ORCID, and all of the publications that are in our metadata will go into that. And we're told by ORCID that this is probably the most powerful integration and the most underutilized. So those of you who are um, publishers encouraging authors to get ORCIDs, please tell them to use that as well. Um, in our Crossref metadata search, you can search actually by ORCID. Uh, this result shows that this um, uh, article also has funding data, and that's showing in our metadata search, and again, you can incorporate that into your own tools. Um, here's an, an example where we're searching by grant number, and again, that's coming from the funder of data, and the uh, last example is, of course, we've got to be able to provide search by DOI, and the example uh, here was funded by the National Institutes. Crossmark is a place to visually bring all of this extra non-bibliographic metadata together. In addition to uh, alerting researchers to whether there's been an update or correction or errata to something, it also provides what we call a publication record tab, um, where some of this additional metadata can be displayed. Fundref, whether it has been through the cross-check uh, plagiarism screening, uh, publication history dates, uh, uh, threaded publications that all uh, use the same clinical trial data. All of these things can be displayed on the Crossmark record tab. Uh, Crossref cited by linking is one of our older services, but it's all about reference metadata. Instead of bibliographic information about the article, it's bibliographic information about the references. Um, and that's a, a very popular and very useful uh, tool powered by metadata. Cross-check, you may wonder what that's about metadata. Well, it wouldn't be possible to check manuscript submissions against a database of published manuscripts unless um, Authenticate, which is our partner, had a map 
via the DOIs of the text to crawl. Um, and there are lots and lots of services that you may not even know are powered by Crossref metadata. Easy that my daughter, my 16-year-old daughter, uses that to do her research papers. Uh, Ex Libris Link Resolvers, PubGet, um, Microsoft Ex Academic Search. There are a number of third parties that use it. So I hope you think that I am not overstating the case when I say that Crossref is really about stewardship. It's about metadata. I love it. I hope you love it as much as I do after this. And finally, I will just leave you with this thought. It used to be we would say, on the internet, no one knows you're a dog. Now we say, on the internet, they know you're a dog. They know who you're sleeping with. They know you're brown. They know you're a lab. Um, there are no secrets. And it's all about data. I love metadata. <laughs>